In all of my time playing video games, one of the things I enjoy quite a lot are anti-gravity mechanics. They are a fun twist and change of pace in a video game, and some other games even embrace anti-gravity completely. That's when it hit me. Why don't we replicate this in Godot? Talking a bit about the state of Godot. That being said, let's create some anti-gravity mechanics. If I run this scene, I already have some basic movement some platforms and a ceiling. So for this tutorial I'll be assuming that you already have a basic movement script. So if that's the case we're going to create an area 2D called anti-gravity checker. We're going to add a collision to that area called anti-gravity anti-gravity checker collision. Uh, so, first we're going to add a shape to this collision, a rectangle shape, and we're going to place it in the middle of the screen like this. Uh, this area today is what is going to help us with the anti-gravity mechanics in the first place. When it collides with the player, and if the player is on the ground, it will trigger a line of code that will make the player elevate to the ceiling. And if the player is in the ceiling, it will come back to the floor. That's our main goal for this tutorial. So, for this we're going to use signals. Signals are pretty basic Godot stuff, Godot 101. We're going to use this body enter. Uh, that means if the area 2D enters with a body, it will trigger an action. So we we'll connect this signal to the player node. It will prompt some lines of code in the script. And let's read it first. Function on gravity checker body enter body. This means pretty much what I already explained. If it entered with a body, it triggered an action that we have to code over here. So, let's test it out. If body is in the group, player, print, hi. Let's run this. And absolutely nothing happens. Why is, why is that? Because the body has to be in the group player so the anti-gravity checker can print high. So let's add our player to the player group. It's as simple as that. Uh, we just go to the original player scene, we go to inspector, to the node tab, to the groups tab and player okay let's test this out and if you see in the console it's printing high every time that we cross the area to the the gravity checker okay anti-gravity checker whatever so this is the basis of what we want to do basically uh, so now we got up coded so instead of printing high it triggers our anti-gravity mechanics so let's do that let's create a new variable called anti-gravity enabled it's going to be false by default here I have my gravity code my gravity script that lets me fall pretty much we're going to modify this. We're going to say if anti-gravity enabled equals false, uh, the gravity is going to be applied. And we're going to add a second half. L if anti-gravity enable equals true movement dot y minus equal gravity. And if movement.y 
is less than minus 600 movement dot y equals minus 600 so this is pretty much uh, my gravity code and this is my anti-gravity code so how do we test it out instead of just printing high we're going to trigger anti-gravity enable equals true so when the player collides with the anti-gravity checker it's going to enable the anti-gravity let's test this out and it works it prints high it skyrockets our player into the ceiling but now he's stuck he's stuck in the ceiling forever how do we fix that? let's modify this line of code which says that if the body is in group player let's add and anti-gravity enable equals false so when the body is in group player is in group player and the anti-gravity is false the anti-gravity is going to be true and if the body if the body is in group player and anti-gravity enable equals true anti-gravity enable is going to be false the opposite oh all oh, right the, the colon okay and he goes up and he goes down that's pretty much what we want we just need some refinement so that's great let's modify again this bit of code the anti-gravity checker so if body is in group player and anti-gravity enable it's false anti-gravity enable it's true when anti-gravity is enabled we want to flip the sprite vertically so it matches the animation so Mega Man sprite flip vertically it's true and when anti-gravity enable it's false the flipping will be false as well so Mega Man sprite dot flip v equals false this is so it matches the the anti-gravity and there we have it he flips vertically when he goes up and he goes back to normal when he goes down what we want to do now is match the animations correctly when we're on the ceiling if you see here I'm not pressing anything and he's still walking uh, if I jump he keeps on the jumping animation when he already is on the ceiling he should have the Ivo animation so how do I accomplish this? it's pretty simple if you see here the problem is that the majority of my code have the is on floor function so we gotta add these two slashes, these two bars stand for or so if is on floor or is on ceiling megaman sprite dot play walk we're going to do the same we're going to paste it into the other uh, conditions okay here it's different because if is on floor and input is action just press c movement dot y equals jump force the thing is that jump force is minus 350 uh, we're gonna make another condition another if a leaf is on ceiling and input is action just pressed z movement dot y 
equals minus jump force. Because if we apply jump force when he's on the ceiling, he's not going to go down, he's going to go up. Uh, let's try this out, shall we? Okay. This is not how it should be working, but we're getting there. Let's see. If it's on floor and input. Oh, right, yeah. Mega Man Sprite, play, jump. I forgot that in the floor one. And there we go. It's pretty much what we wanted, so that's cool. Uh, there is one more thing though. If we cross without jumping, he goes like that, like just walking on the anti-gravity check. Uh, it's okay if you like it that way, but I don't. I want him to go as smoothly as possible. Uh, like, if he's getting surprised when he crosses the anti-gravity checker. So, let's program that. Okay. Let's write some lines here. If is on floor, no. If is not on floor and anti-gravity enable equals false Mega Man Sprite play jump and if is not on ceiling and anti-gravity enable equals true Mega Man Sprite dot play jump as well let's see how this goes and it works properly. Now you get a cute animation of Mega Man doing a little hop when he crosses the anti-gravity checker. So I hope it was helpful. Uh, I like a lot uh, anti-gravity mechanics, so I wanted to make a video on that. And I hope it helps in a project or something to whoever it's watching. So, thanks for your time and see you next time.